Hey everybody, my name is Monsel. I'm with Neutropedia, and today we're going to talk about neurogenesis and specifically some of the nootropics that we can use in order to improve neurogenesis. So, neurogenesis is literally the building or the generation of new neurons in our brain, and it's actually a relatively recent phenomena that we believe it's possible as adults to generate new neurons. In fact, when I grew up, and I'm not that old, my mother used to tell me that I have a limited number of brain cells, so I better be careful. I have a finite number of neurons, so I better not injure myself playing soccer, for example. And it turns out that while this is probably good advice, we actually can develop new neurons, and that's what the process of neurogenesis is. Now, there's three main benefits that I want to talk about when it comes to neurogenesis. The first is improved memory and learning ability. So we have the ability to create new memory memories learn new things when we are developing new neurons. When we have the raw materials to build new neurons in our brain, we can make certain pathways that are more effective for us in a learning context so we can understand material better or just remember things that we desire. So the second benefit of neurogenesis is to improve symptoms of depression. There's a number of studies that show neurogenesis actually has an antidepressive effect and a perfect example of this is the traditional pharmaceutical SSRIs. There's a lot of evidence to suggest that an SSRI doesn't actually help with the serotonin, but instead stimulates the growth of new neurons on the hippocampus in a specific region that improves mood, etc., which is one reason why a lot of people are against SSRI. Now, the third benefit that I'm going to focus on is longevity and anti aging. And of course, if your brain is building new neurons constantly, you're giving it the raw materials it needs to learn and form new connections, then it's going to last far longer in old age. The old adage, if you don't use it, you lose it, kind of applies here. So anyway guys, if you do have neurogenesis throughout your life, it's going to extend your longevity. And that's one of the main reasons why neurogenesis is a helpful tool against Alzheimer's disease, symptoms of Parkinson's, etc. So now that these three major benefits of neurogenesis are out of the way, let's focus on some of the nootropics that you can use in order to improve your neurogenesis. Number one is fish oil, and specifically omega-3 fatty acids, DHA, and EPA. And Dr. Brant Courtright, he published a book called The Neurogenesis Diet and Lifestyle, is a really big proponent of using fish or fish oil in order to improve neurogenesis. Now, him and I have done some interviews, and he talks about how great it is to simply eat, get more fish into your diet, sardines, etc. But if that isn't a possibility or if you'd prefer the ease of fish oil, then the supplements can be really effective for improving neurogenesis. My recommendation, as I always say, is use a molecularly distilled fish oil because if you don't, there's a chance that you will have heavy metals issues and that can actually be neurotoxic as opposed to a tool for neurogenesis. So the second nootropic that I really like for neurogenesis neurogenesis is lion's mane mushroom. There's a number of different studies, I'm not going to go into them necessarily on this video, but there's plenty of evidence to suggest it can improve the neurogenesis and specifically through factors like NGF or nerve growth factor. So there's a lot of evidence on lion's mane because it's a natural mushroom and it's an extract and if you're going to buy a lion's mane mushroom product, my suggestion is to keep a few things in mind. First of all, try and find something like 20% beta-glucans, which is the bioactive ingredient that you want for that NGF influence in your brain. And then number two, try and make sure you're getting a lion's mane product from the fruiting bodies of the mushroom as opposed to the mycelium. And there's a lot of debate on this, but my stance is go with the fruiting bodies. That's how you know you're going to get the best product. Now, the third option for neurogenesis is hydrolyzed collagen. And even though this isn't considered a nootropic by many people, there's some evidence to suggest that collagen can improve neurogenesis in the hippocampus, which is the region of the brain specifically revolving around memory formation and learning, by about 20%. So if you think about that, neurogenesis increased by 20% in the memory center of the brain. And that's the power of this collagen product. And, and one of the reasons why collagen is 
so effective is because it's it's a bunch of amino acids and so it's the raw materials that our brain and our body needs in order to develop what we need and in the sense that neurogenesis is building new neurons that's what we need and that's how the collagen can help just to note if you're gonna get some hydrolyzed collagen I take it every single day I recommend you find a non GMO grass-fed collagen usually without any kind of flavorings or anything and it's really easy to drink it doesn't have any kind of aftertaste or anything like that but it's important that you get the right one like the fish oil the quality does make a big difference and number four is new pept and this is a nootropic developed in the former Soviet Union and it is a very powerful peptide that can improve the neurogenesis in a number of different models a 2008 study with animals found that it could improve both BDNF brain derived neurotrophic factor and NGF or nerve growth factor and both of these are kind of the number one and number two molecules that are evidence of neurogenesis of course there's a cascade of others but BDNF NGF are kind of the two that we focus on and like I said new pept has a lot of evidence in favor of using this drug so if you're going to use new pept my suggestion is to find a sublingual solution because putting it under your tongue in that manner allows it to get into your bloodstream quicker and allows it to have a little more effect than if you were to take a oral supplement that gets degraded through the intestinal tract now finally number five is PQQ and this is a synthetic molecule and primarily it's used for improving mitochondrial function I'm a big proponent of using PQQ alongside CoQ10 as a way of improving mitochondrial function and just as a generic way to kind of improve the, the energy production of our cells. However, there is some evidence, a 2005 study that showed PQQ could actually improve neurogenesis in certain regions of the brain. So it's a nootropic that I recommend for people for mitochondrial health. It seems to have neurogenesis benefits, so might as well get two birds with one stone there. So that's it guys, that is kind of a rundown of some of the best nootropics that I utilize in order to improve neurogenesis. And in my life right now, I am you know, really engaged in learning specific material that's in the biotechnology space. And it has to do with some you know, business opportunities that I have right now. And because I'm in that space, I have to really learn some challenging material and I wanna be able to improve my learning ability through neurogenesis, so I'm taking this extra seriously right now. If I had to give you a one or two suggestions for neurogenesis and specifically the nootropics, I would say find a hydrolyzed collagen product that's going to be relatively standard and it's going to help your entire body, not just your brain. And then number two as a nootropic, lion's mane mushroom is a great option. There's a lot of people who see really significant effects using lion's mane for neurogenesis. So anyway, I hope that's been useful. I hope you find Find the nootropic that you resonate with most in order to boost your neurological connections. Learn the stuff that we have in this world. Learn everything you can. I'll see you next time.